accountant. What do you think when you hear the word? Impressive? Boring? I must be good at numbers. You do my taxes. But have you ever wondered how much money accountants actually make? And to be honest, you may be surprised. A quick research will tell you that salaries for accountants in the UK is ranging around £16,000 to £400,000 a year. And yes, that's a massive range. And that's because it depends on many factors affecting salaries for accountants in the UK. And the first one will be what type of accountants you are. When I tell people I'm an accountant, people normally assume that I can give complicated corporation tax advice or I can answer any queries in regards to payroll. However, I'm not a tax accountant. According to Indeed.com, a national average salary for a bookkeeper is £23,000 per year. For auditor, it will be £32,000. For chartered accountant, the national average salary is £35,000 a year, which is roughly the same salary for a management accountant. For tax accountant, £43,000 per year year and for forensic accountant around £58,000 per year. So just from that we can already see that accountant salaries in the UK varies massively depending on the role and we can see that if the role requires really complex and niche down or really strong technical skills then the salaries will be a bit higher than the rest of the peers. Location is also another factor that's affecting salaries in general. Obviously in the UK if you're based in London then London's salaries are going to be a bit higher but not in real terms of course because cost of living is also more expensive in London however if we're talking just purely the number the number is always going to be a bit higher in London however there are other cities that pay accountants really well as well and some of those are Oxford Derby Glasgow Manchester Bristol and Aberdeen Another factor that will impact the salaries for accountant would be the type of firm, whether it's practice or industry. Practice are the kind of firms that provide financial services and I think these days accounting practice provides really wide range of services, not just financial services but including professional services such as risk management, risk consulting or management consulting services as well. Prime example of practice firms are Deloitte, Ernst & Young, KPMG and Price Waterhouse Coopers or PwC for short. And in the UK we also have top 25 firms or top 50 firms after the big four which includes companies such as BDO, Grant Thornton, IMS or Crow UK. And when we talk about industry, industry is mainly other normal companies apart from accounting practice. These are your standard companies such as Amazon, Nike, New Look, those sort of things, you get the idea. And in general, the pay is more in industry than in practice. According to Diverse Employment, the average salary in accounting is 24% higher in industry than in practice. And just to put this in cash term, if you are an accountant and earning £30,000 working in practice, you can expect to earn around £37,000 if you switch to industry. And for my own personal experience, experience of switching between practice and industry, I find this to be pretty valid. However, there is a very interesting and important point to note down here, which is that although salaries in practice are generally a bit lower than in industry, the highest range of accounting salary in the UK lies within practice itself. So we can actually safely say that for practice, if you work in practice, your salaries in general is going to be a bit lower than in industry but unless you reach a very top level in practice so let's say if you reach a partner level in the big four that's when you are going to be earning a top level accounting salary another important factor is that whether you are a qualified or a chartered accountant obviously with the same years of work experience you are going to get more pay if you are a qualified accountant or if you are a chartered accountant comparing to someone who hasn't been qualified or still working on the qualification now we've got the important factors out of the way. The rest which just depends on the number of years of relevant work experience that you have. Now let's talk about the starting salaries. According to Payscale, starting salaries for junior accountants in the UK is between £50,000 to £34,000 a year. Now obviously just to link back to all the factors that we talked about before, if you're a qualified accountant living in London, then your pay is 
probably going to be on a higher end. If you are not living in London and you're not qualified, then you are most likely going to be on a lower end. When I started my career in accounting um, back years ago, I was living and working in a city called Cheltenham, which is outside of London. And my salary back then was much lower than £15,000. And that with no relevant working experience and no qualification under my belt. And after some years of experience, when you reach a sort of middle level accountant, then your salary should be looking right around £25,000 a year to £70,000 a year. Again, linking to what we've talked about, if you are a qualified accountant with let's say four years of experience then yes you should be on quite a higher end of the pay scale and of course this range is pretty large because obviously it depends on how long you've been in the workforce for and all of the factors that we talked about but in general this is a good benchmark now as we're talking about career and money and all that and career and accounting although it is great it does take a bit of time for you to get to the level that you actually earn pretty good money so I think it's really important not just to look at how much money you will be earning when you're starting or at mid-level of your career, but also looking at how much money you can potentially earn when you reach the top level of accounting career, because I think this is such a great information so that it helps deciding whether a career in accounting is a suitable one or not. Now, I hope you're ready for this because we're talking really big numbers here. According to big4accounting.com, if you make it to a partner level in the big four, you should expect your pay to be at a minimum of £700,000. Now, obviously, I can't confirm this myself because I don't earn that money. And I don't think this number is practical for a lot of people because there's only a small percentage number of people who are actually able to reach the top level at Big Four. So a more realistic path might be to become a CFO for any normal company in industry. And with that, you can expect the pay to be right around £100,000 up to £200,000 before other benefits added on top. And apart from being CFOs, there are also growing trend of accountants becoming CEOs. One in four CEOs are now trained as accountants. So this is a really optimistic way of looking at the end of career as an accountant because although you're trained as an accountant, you don't have to be working as an accountant forever. And in terms of salary for CEOs, as we know, it varies massively depending on the company and depending on the industry. However, you can expect the pay to be right around £100,000 to sometimes if you work for a really big public company, then the pay for CEOs is up to £1 million a year. I just want to talk about this bit here because if you're watching from the US, you might be thinking why the salaries for accountants in the UK are so low. I think in general, salaries in the UK are much lower than in the US anyway. However, accounting salary in the UK is pretty much in line with the European standard. Now, remember in the UK the healthcare is pretty much free and also the workforce in the UK has more holiday days entitlement comparing to the US and also in theory people in the UK work less hours comparing to the US as well so these are the contributing factors as to why the salaries for accountant and any occupation really in the UK is lower than in the US now if you're interested of becoming an accountant in the UK then I would recommend you to watch this video next where I talk about how to get a job as an accountant in the UK without any related degree. I'll see you there.